Well, as you can see, this is a spectacular facility and one that we're extremely proud of. It would not have been possible without our owners, ADNEC, who shared our vision and ambition to deliver this world-class facility for London and for the global markets. They have invested £165 million in building this asset for the capital. I would like to take this opportunity to personally thank the key people who made this all possible. To those who funded and invested in it, Your Highness Sheikh Sultan bin Tarnoun Al Nayan, and of course, the entire ADNEC board, thank you. As well as our owners, there are a host of other people who have played a significant and crucial role in delivering this facility that we're sitting in today. The people who designed, built and delivered it, the XL London board, the architects Grimshaw, in particular Nevin Seedor, who I know is here as a partner, who designed XL London Phase 2, together with Ben Heath and Derman Bradley. Sir Robert McAlpine, the building contractors for both Phases 1 and 2, who managed to complete the project on time, on budget, in fact it was under budget, and a particular mention must go to Nigel Taylor, the project manager. Our project managers, Cardner and Theobald, they'd be led by Guy McCauley. The XL London team, led by Brian Cole, project director for phase two, Kevin Bond, and the entire XL project team. It's equally important, of course, that this investment is supported by the city in which it belongs. So our thanks to the mayor's office, of course, Mayor Boris Johnson, Sir Simon Milton, Deputy Mayor and Chief of Staff of the GLA, our local authority, Newham London, particular thanks to Joe Duckworth, CEO, and of course to Sir Robin Wales, Mayor of Newham. Visit London, London's official convention bureau, the London Development Agency, and lastly, to those who have made today possible, all of the sponsors who have generously contributed, and to George P. Johnson, who have been working with the XL team on today's event. There is no way we would be sitting here if it was not for the courage and the vision of His Highness Sheikh Sultan. He really is a true visionary. He has reshaped the event offer in Abu Dhabi into a global, cultural and business destination and is now helping to shape the business tourism offer here in London. I'm delighted to welcome to London a very busy man indeed. He is chairman of the following, Abu Dhabi National Exhibitions Company, Abu Dhabi Tourism Authority, Tourism Development and Investment Company, Abu Dhabi Authority for Culture and Heritage, Alain Wildlife Park and Resort, and the Eastern Region Development Committee. Please welcome His Highness Sheikh Sultan bin Tanun Al Nayan. Thank you. Your Excellencies, Mr. Mayor, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for being here to celebrate the official opening of Excel Phase 2 ICC London. This is a landmark development for this great city and for Abu Dhabi. It also opens a new chapter in exciting history of Abu Dhabi National Exhibition Company. We actually have several reasons to celebrate the on-time and on-budget completion of ICC, ADNIC's ongoing commitment to the global events industry and continuation of the UAE's strong ties with the United Kingdom. These ties are decades old and are both cultural and commercial. It is a solid relationship born out of mutual respect. London is a preferred destination for many UAE students, as well as for 
UAE travelers. And there are over 100,000 Britons living and working in UAE. The UK is a key to Abu Dhabi's tourism ambitions. It is our top performing overseas market. In the first quarter of this year, over 31,000 UK nationals stayed in our hotels. This is a 19% rise in the same period last year. This is a good result in these challenging times. The ties between us are to be enhanced over the next five years with our government looking to boost bilateral trade by more than 60% by 2015. Successful relationships such as ADNIC and Excel will play a significant role realizing this ambition. When ADNIC acquired Excel in 2008, it invested in UK's events and, uh, and exhibitions industry while supporting Abu Dhabi's economic diversification. Despite the global downturn, we have not held back. We remain fully committed to this investment. Excel is a cornerstone for ADNIC brand, helping to open new trade links to the UAE capital and promoting it to the world. Two years on from the investment in Excel, we have made considerable progress. Excel has staged a number of global events, including last year's G20 summit. There is an ongoing exchange of best practices between Adrink and Excel. And both venues have won new business and numerous awards. As the global economy shows sign of recovery, Excel is well placed to capitalize in the upturn. Additional areas of mutual growth are being identified. A prime example is Adnick's intention to build an aloft hotel at Excel, marking the brand's entry into the UK. I will end by reaffirming Abu Dhabi's commitment to the success of the 2012 Olympics. The next two years will be historic for London, and Excel will be part of the exciting era. Thank you very much.